Hello. So let's look at another method of factorization, which is a factorization by grouping terms. Okay. So I have decided to copy the questions in advance so that we do not waste time or we make our video shorter. And um, the first four will be examples. Then the last four, you are going to to try uh, them out. Okay. So let's get started. The first one is already here. What are we supposed to do? What is expected of us to do when we are dealing with factorization by grouping terms? So when you consider these terms here, or this expression, when you consider this expression here, you are going to discover that you do not have a common factor, okay, apart from one. You do not have a common factor apart from one. So in that case, then we have to group the like terms in pairs, of course. So we look at the first term and the second one. Do we have a common factor? If we do, then we can factorize that one. Also, do we have the common factor here? If we do, then we can factorize what is common. So let's get to do what we are talking about. So when you look at the first two, we have a common factor, which is C. So we need to group them and factorize what is common. C is common here. So we are going to have X plus Y. When we come to this one also, what is common? Plus D is common. Plus D is common, so we have D. Then X plus Y. Okay. Now, look at what we are getting in the bracket when we factorize. Here we are getting X plus Y. Even this side we are getting X plus Y, which is a common factor. This, what we are getting this side, and what we are getting this side, should be the same. If we do not achieve that case, then I think we have to relook at our question, okay, or our work. Then, having done this, how do we come up with our final answer? Our final answer is going to be written as follows. We get this one, C factor, this one, plus D then the other factor is going to be this same one, which is the common here, okay? So I'm going to have x plus y. This is our answer. When you expand and simplify this one, you'll be able to get your question, all right? Let's go to the second one. We have 3x minus 2 dy. 2dy plus 3y minus 2dx. Okay, so it's, it's the same thing. We look at this one and this one. Do we have anything that is common here? You will discover that we do not have apart from 1. Also, this side, when you look at this, you discover that we do not have anything that is common between the two terms apart from 1. Then in that case, we need to rearrange them and pair them, okay? In the manner that we are going to have something that is common. So in this case, we have 3x here, which can be paired with this one. We have 3 and we also have 3 here. So we, have, we are going to have something that is common. So we have 3x plus 3y minus 2dy, which is this one here, minus 2dx. Then from here, we factorize. From here, we factorize at this point, what is common? 3 is common. X plus Y. This side, we look at these two terms. What is common? 2 is common here. D is common here. We have a minus here also, and we also have a minus. So we can factorize 2 minus 2D. This is common. Okay? Take note, we are using these two terms here. We are factorizing minus 2D. So what are we going to remain with here? If we have removed uh, outside, minus 2D. So what we are going to remain with is Y. Okay? Now, the fact that we have factorized a minus, this one will become positive. And here, what did we remain with? Already we have 2D outside. So we have X, Y. X plus Y is the same as y plus x. 
So what we have in the brackets is the same thing and it, it should always be the same thing. So the final answer is going to be 3 minus 2d x plus this is what is going to be our answer for the second question all right so let's consider the third one 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 All right, so we look at the third one. Three a x minus two a minus six b x plus four b. Okay. So in the same manner, we look at um, what is common here. In the same manner, we look at what is common. Okay? Do we have anything that is common between the first two? Apart from one. A is common. Okay? The second one, what is common here? I think we have uh, two can go into six as well as uh, into four. B is common there. So let's try to factorize them in pairs and see if what we're going to have in the brackets, this side and this side, will be the same. So at this point, we're going to say we've got A. A is our common factor here. Then we're going to remain with 3x minus 2. All right. So now, this is telling us that even the other side, when we factorize, we should get a minus here. We should get a minus here. Okay? So meaning, to achieve that, what we are factorizing here to change this one into a minus, what we should factorize should be a minus. Okay? So meaning, we have 2, which is common for 6 and 4, then B is also common. Now, take note that the reason why I'm saying we're going to factorize minus 2B is that we need this sign to change to a minus so that we've got the same factors in the brackets. So now, here we remain with what? Once we have this outside, B is here. So you divide this into 6. You are going to get 3. Okay? Now take note that we have an X here. So X remains here. Then, because we have factorized the minus here, here we are going to have a minus. Okay? Now, 4 divided by 2, we get 2. B is already outside. When you distribute this one, if you want to get back, this will go back into a plus. This will still be a minus. Alright? Then we can come up with our final answer, which is um, we are going to have a minus 2b. Then we get 3x minus this. Gets to be our final answer for the second one. I mean, for the third one. So let's go to the last one on the examples. Okay? Let's go to the last one on the examples. I think this space is enough. Uh, so we have four. The fourth and last example is eight. Um, eight. A X plus twelve. A Y minus eight B X minus. 12b y okay so we have to get to do the same thing we have to get to do the same thing let's look at what is common here on these ones let's look at what is common here 8 and the <coughs> 12 excuse me um, 8 and the 12 4 is the highest common factor we have a and we also have a here so it's 4a 8 divided by 4, we get 2. X. Alright? A is outside. Plus, uh, 12 divided by 4, we get 3. Right? Y. A is outside. Then we come this, this side. We have a minus and a minus. Okay? We have a minus and a minus. 
So, here we have a minus. Even this side, when we factorize, whatever we're going to remain within the brackets should have a positive here. So, meaning, we need to factorize a minus here. Because it is common, we have a minus and we have a minus. And it will be minus 4B. B is common also. Plus 4 is the highest common factor of 8 and 12. We open brackets. What are we going to remain with here? 2x plus 3y. <clears throat> so in the same manner, you know now, by now you know how to write our final answer. We have 4a minus 4b. And then we have uh, 2x plus 3y. Okay? Now, when you look at this one, when you look at this fact, <clears throat> we still have a common factor here. So we can still go further to completely factorize this part. When you look at this part, 4 is common. So we can say 4, A minus B, and 2X plus 3Y. Final answer, this one. I hope you have learned um, the concept and what you are supposed to do. So this is what we are supposed to do on this part. And uh, if you remember, we listed uh, four methods of factorization and we have dealt with three so far. So we are remaining with one, which is a um, quadratic expression. And uh, because these videos have to be short, before the actual uh, factorization of quadratic expressions, I'm going to present a, sh uh, a brief lesson that is going to give us the the prerequisite of what we may need there because from what i've seen most of the learners the challenge that they have with the last method of factorization is uh, integers so i want to bring out something there on a shorter video that will help us simplify uh, the last part of factorization that is in the next uh, video that i'm going to make uh, thank you very much for watching please make sure you subscribe to my channel or invite all your friends that may need uh, this channel otherwise i'm here to help people that are having challenges with the subject and those of you that are teachers of mathematics please as i present you should be following to see them uh, there could be mistakes here and there so that we can correct those things in order to give our audience the best Thank you very much for watching my video.